Hey students, a very very good evening. So how are you all doing? Yes, I hope you all are excited for today's session. Hi, hi Bishal. Good evening, Shivangi. Hi, Vinita. Good evening, Sneha Chaudhary. Hi, Advika. Hi, Joel. Hi, Druvi. Dibyanchi. Jyotsna. Aradhya Tiwari. D. Deepak. Lakshit. Vasi Kamar. Sureka. Art Pandey. Lakshmi. Shorya. Shivangi. Gurpreet. Naima Saber. Vansh. Sneha. Shishank. Sabita. Namita. Pooja. Sharma. Papiya. Das. Excited to learn new things, Sai Sesi Kumar. Well, I am excited too because today's session is different from the usual sessions that we generally have. And I hope you all have seen the title of the video by now. You all know what are we going to learn today. Yes? And another interesting thing about this session is we have students from both our channels today. Yes. Super excited. Yes, I am excited too. Good evening, Jagdamba Tiwari. Hi, Pooja. Hi, Anika, Aditya, Akansha, Alok, Sonali Nayak, Ishwarya Guranch, Arth Pandey, D. Deepak, Gurpreet, Srimai. All right, all right, all right. So, are you all ready? Yes? So math is a subject where we generally face challenges, generally, even if we have understood the concept, we face challenges in calculations, I think you all would agree to it, in calculations, second thing, learning tables and all, right? These are the very basic things which we generally do not notice, right? Our main focus is on learning the concept. We generally ignore these things and these small, small things are where we generally lose our marks, yes? So Sneha, this is live class only. Yes. I am doing good, Shruti. Thank you. Yes, Naima, Dev, Lakshat, Nibha, Chaudhary. Pavani, no tables till 50. Yes, in calculations, we generally end up making silly mistakes, right? And also the tables part. Generally, I know that when it comes to tables, generally, like uh, somebody just said that she knows tables till 50. But I'm sure that maximum students, they would know tables till 15 or maybe 20, not more than that. Yes? Yes, we usually forget these things. So it, this video is going to be really useful for you. So are you all ready? Yes? Yes, learning tables is sometimes too difficult, but at the same time, it is important. We don't really understand the importance of these small, small things. We generally ignore it. That's what I said. Our main focus is on learning the chapters, learning the concepts. All right, all right. Dead when I learned till 12. I know I can relate to this. I have seen a lot many students who know table till 9 only, till 10 only. Sneha knows till 20. Yes, all right, all right, all right. So let's get started. So let's start our journey. So generally what happens is, as I said, we have generally seen that students generally know tables till 9. Till 9, everyone would know the tables perfectly. Do you all agree to this? Yes, till 9, everyone would know it. But after 9, 10 is very simple, 11 is very simple. After that, then the main thing starts. That's where the difficulty level starts. Yes. Jagdeshwar, no still 17. Shreya, till 15. Yes. This is the best part of this, of this today's, today's session. It is for, doesn't matter whichever grade you are. It's going to be helpful for each one of you. Yes. Even if you're going to appear for a competitive exam, then only it's going to be helpful for you. Yes, don't worry. Don't worry if you have subscribed, if you have joined our Telegram channel, the, the, uh, the PPT, I mean the PDF of this session will be shared. So I hope everybody has joined it. Quickly give me thumbs up, smileys, if you have joined the Telegram channel. Yes? Yes, Anupriti, right. It's also going to be helpful when you are remembering the squares as well. Yes. Dhruvi knows till 12 only. No, Lakshya, today I'm telling you, this trick that I'm going to show you, it's very simple. And I'm sure that no one would have seen it earlier. Yes, Neharika is giving thumbs up. Palak. Gungun. I can see lots of thumbs up and smileys. So everybody has joined it. So if you have joined, the session PDF will be shared. All right, all right. And in this journey, we are not alone. Here we have our another friend and her name is Tina. 
Now Tina is really confused because yesterday she asked her teacher, how can someone be good in maths? So teacher says, to be good in maths, you should know the table still 100. Oh my God, 100 is such a big number, isn't it? Generally, we know the table still 9 or maximum 15 or 20, not more than that, right? Yes. So now she's very upset and she's confused too. She says, but I know tables up to 9 only. So she is like us only, right? She's like you only. She knows table till 9. So now her mother comes and she says, what is the issue daughter? She says, how can I learn the tables up to 100 easily? Because teacher is asking that. Father says, not an issue. Let's sit together and we will share a wonderful technique to learn the tables up to 100. Her father seems to be really smart, isn't it? Doesn't matter, Deepak, Tina, 10th mein hai or whatever class she is in. It's going to be helpful for all of you. Himani, you asked this to your teacher as well. She literally said, learn tables perfectly. Yes, it is important. Even, see, doesn't matter. Even if you're in grade 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you're going to write the competitive exams. These kind of tricks are really helpful. They save your time also. And trust me, it's, it's really monotonous. It's really boring. Again and again, we are using the same traditional method of, you know, learning the tables or multiplying the numbers. Yes, you see, she's a small girl. But she is going to learn this trick. All right. So let's, are we all ready to see that trick? Yes. All right. All right. So let's take a look here. So we all are aware uh, about the tables till 10, right? Till 10, it's very simple. 11 is also very simple, right? So I'll start with 13. 12, see, this, tricky, this trick can be used for, for, uh, for any number till 100. It is applicable on all of them. Yes. So what we can do is first, I'll write down the table of 1. That's going to be what? It's going to be 0 times 1. I'm 1 times 1. It's We have to write the two-digit number. 0, 1, 1 times 2, 0, 2, 1 times 3, 0, 3. This way we can fill the first column, right? Yes, I have seen, Aradhyaya, this with lot many students. They can write the tables, but they cannot say it verbally. Because you have to be really fast for that. Mental calculation you have to do. But the trick that I'm going to show you, this trick you can do the mental calculation also. You don't need to really write it down. Alright, and for 3, it's going to be 3 times 1, 0, 3, 2 digit number we are going to write. 3 times 2, 0, 6, 3 times 3, 0, 9. This way we can write the table of 3. Till 9 we all are really perfect with the, with the tables, right? Okay, so when I'm talking about 13, all we need to do is, 13 times 1 when we are doing, we will take this number over here, 0, 1. And from here, 0, 3. And look at the way how we are adding adding them up. So here, this is the 1's place. And this is the 10's place. Right? You do not have to write this way. 0, 1 plus 0, 3. That's wrong. You have to write this 10's digit under this 1's digit. Right? Like this. Alright. So that's going to be what? 13. So we get the first number. That is 13 over here. Thank you, Shruti, for such positive words. Alright, talking about 13 times 2. So what we will pick from here, that's going to be 0, 2 plus 0, 6, right? So this is going to be equals to, one second, I think I've moved ahead. So that's going to be 0, 2 plus 0, 6. Look at the way how it is added, right? Below this 1's digit, we have this 10's digit. So that's going to be 26, right? Yes. So 13, I'm sure that the 10th graders, 9th graders, for them, they might know it. But for 6th to 8th graders, it might be a little difficult. Yes. All right. I'm not able to read all the comments from both the channels. Can we just reduce this size? All right. Talking about 13 times 3. So how do we do that? We will pick 0, 3 from here and 0, 9. Now we know how to write them down, right? So in this manner, we can say that it's 13 times 3 is 39. And let's suppose I have to find what is 13 times 5. So from here, 0, 5 and from here, 15. So 0, 5 and 15 here. That's going to be what? This is going to be 65. That's how we can find them. Yes, special. Understood. Lakshmi. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you. Take with AS. All right. All right. Let's take one more example. This way you can you can use this for to finding out the uh, for writing the table for any number. Now let's pick up 73. Let's say right. So we here we have 
the table of 7, here we have the table of 3. So let's say for 7 times 1, I'm sorry, uh, for 73 times 1, that's going to be 0, 07 plus 0, 03. In the same manner, we will write 0, 07 below this 1's digit, we have the 10's digit. So that's 0, 03, that's going to be 73. Similarly, for 73 times 2, that's going to be 14 plus 0, 06. In the same manner, we are writing here. That's going to be 146. Now, in the similar manner, we will write for the next one, right? So I hope this is clear. Nice trick, yes? S A V Tarang, Yogesh Chaudhary, Gungun Tagore, you're liking this method. Yes. Shruti understood. All right, all right. It's okay, Sharfia. Joel, super trick. Yes? So you like this trick? Sai Sesi Kumar has never seen this before. Interesting one. Mayang Saini understood. Kanika. Yes, Kanika and Shamna. I'm explaining one more time for the ones who haven't understood this. So let's suppose I want 73 times 4. So we will pick 28 from here and 12 from here. You write 28 like this and 12 here. Below this, this is the 1's digit for this number and this 1 is the 10's digit. So this way we add them up. 2, 9, 2. Right? So I hope this is clear now. Trick is awesome, Shruti. Yes, interesting method. It's a part of your holi holiday homework as well. So, see, it's really helpful, right? Now you can you can use this trick. And you can do it mentally also. Yes. Nice one. Yes, Himani. All right, all right. Alright, so this way you can try this out with different, different numbers. Because see, these numbers, the addition, subtraction, a lot many times I have seen. What some students would do, I'm talking about the ones like 6th sixth, sixth graders, 5th graders, 7th graders, what they do generally, they do mental calculation. Let's suppose I'm talking about the table of 7. So they will keep adding 7 after every number. That's how, they don't really remember the tables, they are adding them up. So mentally we can add numbers. Addition is something that we don't find really difficult, right? Even if we are adding numbers mentally. But remembering the tables, it is a task. Yes. Mind-blowing. Yes. Bilvasai understood all the tables. All right. So this way you can try this out with different, different numbers. So this trick is really helpful. And see, Tina is also liking this trick. All right. So the parent's father says, yes, now you can write table of any two-digit number till 99. So try this out with different numbers. Try writing the table for any numbers. Because see, until you practice it, you will not have get the hang of it, right? Similar manner, Papiya. In a similar manner, we will do it. So this is, the best part is it is applicable for all the numbers till 100. Yes. Some people have this, have, have got this in their holiday homework as well. So it is really going to help them. Yes. Wow, that's nice, Neha. So that's what I said. No, Anukriti. You don't really have to memorize this. There is a, a simple small trick. Up to 9, that's all. You need to know the numbers. And after that, you need to know how to write them down. You have to write them down in the same manner like I showed that to you. Yes. Really helpful. Yes. Any doubts? Rudrakshi, no problem in this. Deepa, no, understood. Yes. Crystal clear? Chota beam. Yes, I would agree to it. That's why we find addition and subtraction simple, right? But when it comes to multiplication and division, we find it more difficult, isn't it? Yes, definitely, HydroGamer. See, if you have if you have joined the Telegram channel, the session PDF would be shared. Don't worry. Shruti Kumari, love this session. Thank you. Yes, Deepak, I think you have already appeared for the grade 10th exam. So... But even if you go for any, even for higher grades also, this calculation is something that this is always going to be a part of mathematics, right? So even whatever exam you're going to write, it's going to be helpful for you. Yes. Correct, Shashank. Badal is here, yes. So try this out with different, different numbers, with different two-digit numbers, and let me know in the comment section how you like this trick. All right? All right, students. So I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.